Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to bring you one growth stock that's down 90% off its high that I think is an excellent stock to buy for 2024. So I'm going to look at this growth stock, what it is, why I like it, why the valuation is down, the prospects over the next few years to give you the reasons why I think this growth stock is a buy for 2024. So let's get right into it. Let's see what this growth stock is. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. C Limited is the growth stock that I'm talking about. C Limited. It's down 89.66% off its high, and that's mostly due to its struggles in its gaming segment, notably the ban of one of its most popular games in India. But that ban is being reintroduced or reinstated, so the company is going to re-enter that market with that popular game, Free Fire, and that could boost its monthly active user engagement in that region from the gaming segment. Looking longer term, Seed Limited has experienced phenomenal revenue growth. The company mostly is e-commerce, but it also has the financial services and the gaming segment I talked about earlier. Revenue has grown to 12.9 billion in a trailing 12 month period. That was up from less than 2 billion in 2018. It's experienced phenomenal revenue growth over the years and given the markets that it operates in mostly south asian south asian economies that are growing faster than north american economies that could give it a faster growth rate going forward the other thing i like about c limited is that it has demonstrated economies in scale Economies in scale is one of the most desirable characteristics you can find in an investment. In the example I have created here, sales grow from $100 in year 1 to $115.76 in year 4, while net income more than doubles from $4.50 to $9.47 in year 4. This company demonstrates economies in scale. As its revenue grows, its profits grow by a larger magnitude. Not every company can achieve this kind of effective growth. Here's how it works. This is a typical categorization of an income statement of a publicly traded company. Cost of goods sold is what's called a variable expense. That means cost of goods sold is connected to sales. Other expenses like interest, general and admin, and depreciation are not connected to sales. You can see here depreciation stays the same at 25 whether sales increase or not. The same is true for interest expense. It stays the same whether sales grows or not. You can understand your interest payments do not increase when your sales increase. Overall, businesses typically have a mixture of fixed expenses that are unrelated to sales and variable expenses that are. When sales increase, the business leverages those fixed expenses, as we see in this example, and profits grow by a larger magnitude than the increase in sales. That being said, in this instance, I'm going to look at economies and scale as it relates to cash flow from operations. And you could see that demonstrated here with C Limited growing its cash flow to sales ratio from negative 60% all the way up to 16.44%. And due to the difficulties I mentioned earlier with revenue declines in the gaming segment, C Limited has undertook cost cutting measures in 2023 so that when it does return to accelerated growth, it's going to grow this cash flow from operations, in my opinion, due to those cost cuts. Another reason why I like C Limited is because of the relatively solid balance sheet. It has cash and short-term investments close to $6 billion. That's compared to its long-term debt of $3.5 billion. So if it wanted to, it could pay off all of its long-term debt and still have nearly $2.5 billion in cash on hand. One of the other things I'm really excited about C Limited is the growth prospects. So for 2024, C Limited is expected to increase revenue by 11.7% and earnings per share by 36.1%. 
That's going to get better in 2025 with revenue growth of 12.5% and earnings per share growth of 259%. So a couple of things I want to highlight here. Number one, C Limited is growing the top line at an accelerated rate. I've talked about this before on my channel. This is the second derivative. This, sorry, that's hard to say. The second derivative. That's the rate of growth, right? So you're seeing the rate of growth grow from 3.8% to 11.7% to 12.5%. So it's growing, but also the rate of growth is growing. That's excellent. That's something that I like to see when I'm making an investment. That's also happening in earnings per share. The company decreased its earnings per share by nearly 100% in 2023. It wasn't a good year. That's why the stock price is down so much. But it's expected to increase by 36.1% in 2024 and 259% in 2025. Once again, the rate of growth is increasing. The rate of growth is increasing. And those two characteristics I really like to see in stocks that I'm considering investing in. And when I see that, I'm willing to pay a higher price because they're demonstrating that kind of growth or they're expecting that kind of growth. One thing to note here, though, is that these are estimates, right? These are analyst estimates. This is the consensus. This is what a group of analysts have put together, right? Each one making their estimates, and then this is the average of the group. So putting together all of the averages of the group has led to these kinds of estimates. So there are some analysts expecting C Limited to grow even faster than these rates, and there are some analysts that are expecting C Limited to grow at slower than these rates. So this is a composite, this is an average, that's what it means, consensus. And another thing to note is that there is risk with these estimates. Nobody knows what's gonna happen in the future. Just because this is what the expectation is, doesn't mean this is what is actually going to play out. But that's what you get when you're investing. Nobody knows what's gonna happen in the future. You're taking some risk, that's why you're getting paid, you're getting an expected return for taking that risk. And finally, C Limited is trading at a cheap valuation when measured by the price to free cash flow. It's trading at a price to free cash flow of just 10.34. And given its positive characteristics in growth in the top line, growth in earnings per share, expected growth in cash flow from operations going forward, and everything we talked about leading up to this, including its growth in cash flow from operations, the reinstatement of its game in India, the popular game in India, the relatively strong balance sheet. All of these reasons indicate that C Limited is one growth stock that's down significantly off its high that I think is an excellent stock to buy heading into 2024. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.